We're not going to start in our math notebook yet. I'm going to give the math kit out. When you get your math kit, if you would just get your counters out, because we are going to be building a five by two array, you will likely need to share with your partnership using your counter. Now I want you to create a two by five array somewhere else on your desk. So don't mess up your five by two array, but on the other side of your desk, make a two by five. Same color? Uh, yep, same color, please. So we had a five by two array. Now you're using your counters to make a two by five. So then you will end up with two arrays. So I see Logan's got two arrays. Lincoln's getting two arrays. Bladen's got it. Sean's got it. Many of you, when you made a five by two array, you did five going down. And then two across. When you made your two by five array, how was it different? When you made your two by five array, Michael, how was it different? Um, there was two going up and down and then five going um, on the side. Yeah, so many of you have two arrays that look like this. You have one set of arrays going up and down. You have one set of arrays going side by side. What math equation matches what you just made? What math equation matches what you just made? Ashley, you want to give it a go? Okay, I need an equation, which means I need an equal sign in there. What is that array? There you go. 2 times 5 is equal to 5 times 2. Now, we've known that, right? We've done the commutative property. We've learned that we can rearrange the group, and my total doesn't change. Ashlyn told us that the total of each array is 10. No matter if my array is up and down or sideways. Michael? Um, Logan, 10, no thank you. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Sure. I could say 10 divided by 2 is the same value as 10 divided by 5. Nope, that won't work. That's not true. We'll just leave it as an answer. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. That'll work. What is 10 divided by 2? Alright, easy. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Yeah, but 10 divided by 2 is 5. Yeah. Those are two different answers. Alright, this time, I want you to determine is this true? 3 times 7 is equal to 3 plus 7. Make two different tiles with your array to show what one side is equal to versus the other side. So with your counters, let's go ahead and start with 3 times 7. Yep. Yep, if you want to push your 5 by 2s back together, you can. And then show uh, using your counters what 3 plus 7 is going to equal. I want you to draw the array that you made on your desk. We know that ultimately it doesn't really matter if you make your array go sideways or up and down. It's not super critical because this problem has no real story. We can just make it however we want. So you have some version of 3 times 7. You can make it going across the page, not the center. What did you draw for 3 Plus seven. 
What did you draw for three plus seven? Show me what did you draw? Awesome. So we have three dots, and then Shelby did a plus sign, separation, and then did seven dots. It may be helpful to arrange your dots like a tens frame. So a row of five, and then starting another row of five. Yep, you should be familiar with that. You did that in first and second grade. So looking at those dots, and what you know about addition and multiplication, is that true? No, that is not true. 3 times 7 does not equal 3 plus 7. Even though they have the same numbers, that does not equal the same amount. Does this make sense? No. All right, you are going to be getting a worksheet called Is Math True? No. It's going to have about five different equations, mm -hmm. just like the one that we just did. You need to show your drawings, just like we just put in our notebook. If you need to use your counters first to help you, that is totally fine. When you finish, you will transition yourself into your math choice board. Before I give you this worksheet, I'm going to go ahead and give you your math choice board so you can set it up. While you're waiting for me, go ahead and get out a glue stick so that you may get your notebook set up.